As we first reported last week, no criminal charges after an investigation into Milwaukee's health department, but one group says that investigation was incomplete. Fox 6's Angelica Sanchez joins us live with where things go from here, Angie. That's right. The State Department of Justice investigated Milwaukee's childhood lead poisoning prevention program. The Milwaukee County DA says there was evidence of wrongdoing, but not enough to prosecute a crime. A local group wants the federal government to weigh in on this. Everyone deserves the ability to have water that is free from harm. State Senator Lena Taylor says she is disappointed by a recent report from the Wisconsin Department of Justice. This all started back in 2018. The Division of Criminal Investigations began looking into potential criminal violations. After reports, the Milwaukee Health Department failed to investigate the homes of children who had elevated lead levels in their blood. After DOJ investigated, the Milwaukee County District Attorney concluded there was not enough evidence to file criminal charges, citing conflicting statements and a lack of reliable records. Taylor says key players like former health commissioner Bevan Baker were not interviewed. Let me be clear. If you've not interviewed the top individuals in the health department, I don't know how thorough it can be. They made a mistake not charging people here. Freshwater for Life Action Coalition spokesperson Robert Miranda says he is eyeing the next steps. And we're going to take it to the United States Attorney General's office. And we're going to ask for an investigation and a review of this investigation. Fox 6 asked the DOJ to respond to these concerns. In a statement, Attorney General Josh Call says the investigation was thorough, but adds, although the evidence does not support the filing of criminal charges, the investigation showed major failures in how the Milwaukee Health Department had administered the childhood lead poisoning prevention program during the time period investigated. What happened to families in Milwaukee is tragic and unacceptable, and the failures that previously occurred must never happen again. Now we learned the DOJ report published last week has been temporarily removed from the website. A spokesperson with the department says there were complaints about some of the sensitive information found in those records. The spokesperson tells us they are reviewing the file and are redacting it appropriately. Reporting live in Milwaukee tonight, Angelica Sanchez, Fox 6 News. All right, we'll see where it goes. Angie, thanks.